Hi, I'm Gary Kearney, and this is my presentation, Bus Islands, My Truths. This photograph on the slide here was taken at the tramway stop on the Clontarf Road, uh, 2019, because that's how long I've been involved in working on this project and showing the fact that they are dangerous. They are dangerous for people with disabilities and they're dangerous for people, all vulnerable pedestrians, in fact. Now, while all of this was going on, the C2CC was happening. And this slide here shows the C2CC design from Dublin City Council, city to contour after city centre. There is a tactile paving either side of a dropped crossing, a raised dropped crossing with a line of tactile across it. God knows what they were thinking. And um, small ramps. Now, when I say small, what you can't see, but what I know from experience is these curbs that are marked in green and yellow are in green, the drop curves are marked in yellow, are lower than 60 millimeters, which is the lowest amount of height that a visually impaired person with a long cane or a guide dog will recognize from the cane will catch it or the dog will understand it's a curb. Also very, very much involves the intellectually disabled. It doesn't look like a curb. It doesn't look like there's a carriageway and a footpath. And this is the problem. This was said, was shown to me and I vetoed it straight off the bat and then it came back because the C2C seat was sitting in the not, nothing being done in it for quite a long time. And it came back. Now, through all of that, I'd complained heavily to the National Transport Authority. And here on the right hand side is what they came out with after a meeting we had in uh, a hotel in Dublin, where myself and Elaine Howley stood our ground and refused to back down. Now, with this, there's two chicanes, one on the way in, one on the way out. There's two crossings. One boat raised, 100 millimeter flat face curb, so it's a 100 millimeter raise, and it's done very steeply with traffic slowing down purposes. They, oh, the amount of, they put a line of black tarmacadam on the ground and painted it yellow, and that was going to slow down the bicycles. This does. Uh, it's a controlled crossing, while in the picture it's Bielsa Beacon from a zebra crossing. It is actually supposedly. A pedestrian crossing, button controlled by the pedestrian. This is, it's got red tactile in the yellow shape on the path and on the island. It's got yellow tactile on the other one. That's the way it should be done. But that's not what we're seeing. What we're seeing is the one here. And how I know that is because here you go. We have one crossing here. This, the first one on the left hand side is a bus island in Tala. Slight you can, but you can virtually go through it straight. If you come at a slight angle, it's straight through. Low curbs, one dropped curb with an uncontrolled crossing. No shelter. Too narrow of a bus island. That's out in Tala, uh, beyond Lewis Stop. If you get to Lewis and keep walking straight, you'll come across it. Here's the really scary one. This is Amiens Street in Dublin. And this was the Pride and Joy. Um, it's now 2.5 meter, which is the minimum width. But where they've put the bus shelter so far out, it brings it down to 1.4 meters inside and one meter at the far side, at the far end of this bus shelter. Now, the curbs are 50 mil. And because they're old bullnose curbs, they're worn down. So there's absolutely no chance of a, a blind person finding them with a long cane or anybody recognizing it as a curb. There's no speed reduction methods used here at all and the, the cyclists have a direct straight run to this and it's, it's it's horrific it is you couldn't design it any worse than if you tried and we were told that this was going to be designed because i got challenged to design it and i designed the nta one and i mean at that meeting i spoke about i designed it then you've got this the cycle lane with the other piece bringing the cyclist up onto the pedestrian crossing without anything to slow it down. We have Clontarf again, counterflow cycle lane, through a footpath, through a crossing, a trip gully, as we call them. And it's not just Dublin. Here's Cork, two-way cycle track, pedestrian area, waiting area. And just to show you that they don't work, here's London, cargo bike going on the footpath past the visually impaired person with the cane. Another cyclist who goes through the gap between the cyclist and the person in the, in the wheelchair. 
And finally, we have this one here that when they say it works in Holland, here's a Dutch person running into a Dutch lady with her cane out as she's crossing an uncontrolled crossing on a cycle lane. So please don't tell me that it works. Now, the people coming behind me will tell you that it works. The people coming behind me will say, will use nice terms like pedestrian uh, priority zone or all these sort of nice terms. They've, they've told us lies from the start to finish, and I don't see anything changing. These things are dangerous. They're dangerous in London. They're dangerous in Holland. They're dangerous everywhere. We have to stop them, and we have to stop them now.